You may have noticed a strange assortment of artwork at the corner of Cortland Street and Ralph McGill Boulevard in downtown Atlanta. You might think that the snakes, colorful shields, and massive concrete heads adorning the sidewalk and bridge amount to a random assortment of whimsy. But there's a very specific inspiration for this display, and we found it in Buena Vista, Georgia. One of the strangest stories we've come across is that of Eddie Owens Martin, a folk artist and soothsayer who called himself Saint Om of Passaquan. Eddie has been dead for 20 years now, but we met up with Clayton Turner from the Passaquan Preservation Society to talk about Eddie's work and his amazing house. Clayton, is there any way to encapsulate Saint Om? Well, he was a uh, unique character here in Buena Vista, Georgia, in Southwest Georgia, and he, uh, he came and uh, created this incredible art expression, compound, whatever you'd like to call it. But uh, he produced this from the early 60s until 1986 when he passed away. Well, let's take a look at some of his work here. Sure. Clayton, here's some great examples of some of his amazing exterior work. It is amazing, and you can see throughout the property his evolution of influences. You've got uh, Asian influence with uh, tin pieces uh, implanted into the wall, and as you pan through, you've got uh, Native American influences, and uh, you can see that faces were one of his main influences, and they're all over the place. You can see them everywhere here at Passaquan. He uh, talked about being in the Merchant Marines, but actually he never left the States, and he uh, saw most of these things that influenced him in New York City. Now, Clayton, even though it was kind of isolated, he did have people come in. He was kind of a soothsayer, wasn't he? Right. He had people come in from all over the Southeast, and uh, he was a counselor, a fortune teller, if you want to call him that, um, but he was uh, very open with people about it. He listened to them and uh, gave them advice. And uh, he even um, charmed um, the snakes and, and he had such a connection with the animals. There's quite a few snakes protecting him around, around his designs as well. That's it? right. You can see he continued the theme with uh, snake charming uh, around the tops of his walls here. Now, Clayton, there's so many different symbols and techniques that he's used all over the property. He was fond of a lot of different themes, obviously. One of the things he was very fond of is these meditation wheels. And uh, it's not an uncommon symbol all over the world, but he was uh, fascinated with the idea of the circle and staring into the meditation wheels, he said, would eventually produce uh, deeper meditation and a, a feeling of euphoria. Alicia, this is where Eddie told his fortunes and had people come in for their readings. And uh, at one time, this was an open porch, and then he enclosed it. And uh, this is as far as anyone got in the Passaquan house. Um, he told all of his uh, fortunes. He also had some very interesting beliefs. Uh, one of them was that your hair was your antenna to God, and he grew his hair out very long, his beard out very long, and then braided it up. and came out the tops of his hats because uh, he thought that was how you touched God. Clayton, we keep finding one more unusual structure after another, and here's a perfect example. Yes, this is uh, Eddie's ceremonial dance pit, and apparently when visitors would come, he would uh, put on his regalia and take his drum and get out and uh, chant and go walk around in circles chanting his, uh, his mantras and his chants and uh, theater really is what it was. He was all about theater.
1976, the local town here, Buena Vista, had uh, Founders Day, and uh, Eddie was on the tour of homes. <laughs> what so a home. the whole community came, and they had their first introduction to Passaquan, and uh, you can imagine how they were all stunned to find this in their backyard. Clayton, there's just so much here, but it's in a little bit of a danger of being lost, and that's what you're all about, isn't it? That's right. We have the Passaquan Preservation Society. This is such an important art site. It's actually considered by a, a lot of uh, people uh, that understand and follow the art world to be one of the most important folk art sites in the United States, if not the world. So we really do want to preserve this. It's an incredible piece of art, if not anything, just as a testament to Eddie's diligence and Eddie's drive. And uh, he did this without any reward whatsoever. He was out here on his own, and uh, I appreciate that, and I think a lot of other people will too once they see the place.